Is Scientology about to build a tunnel? Is there a hidden tunnel under L. Ron Hubbard Way? Yes, and we already know that. The important question is, is there another tunnel being built by Scientology right now? That's the theory that Scotty has put forward, and we're looking at what indications we have so far. We know that there is an underground connection between the Advanced Org LA and the Big Blue. We know this from witness statements such as from Lara, Aaron, and Nora. Is there another connection being worked on from 4816 Fountain Avenue to AOLA? We're looking at what clues there are. I have a lot of questions. We start on the day the camp is packed up. It's day seven of the occupation of the Big Blue Building. There were a lot of storms behind the scenes that led to the security of the encampment being compromised. Danny and DOA not being able to be on site due to a restraining order also played a role. Scientology fought hard and used the LAPD as their strike force. The camp was a success. One week at the feet of Scientology and they couldn't get rid of the protesters. The supposed children's festival became a sideshow because everyone realized after a few days that this was not a children's festival. It was a distraction and simply the blocking of L. Ron Hubbard Way with a festival as a cover. This has never been done before and no matter why the camp was shut down, it was a great effort by all who were actively involved. It took many hands in the whole day to pack up the barbecues, boxes, sanitary products, tents, and much more, and stow them in the vans. Thanks to the protesters, and I want to say I'm looking forward to the next round. The next day, Scientology had lined the sidewalk easements with large boxes and pots for plants to prevent the camp from returning. Kelly was there one day later and filmed this. There's more. <laughs> Hello, of course, the sprinklers. Whole boxes. You know what's so funny? I brought seeds. I have a bag. I have a bag of all kinds of seeds. And I could be wrong, but it almost looks like a... What's that imprint of? Interesting. Does that look like plant soil? I see so many stones. Or is it rubble? A brick, maybe? Kelly says the soil doesn't smell good. I don't remember seeing, like, what ended up... Ha has this been up the whole time? I've been a little distracted the last day or two. Was this just a distraction? Since Greg's tent was already up, so they had to work around it. all my, uh, everything I would have to say about why they're, quote, allowed to do this is my theories. Can you do me a favor and check if you have a subscription? With your help, I can reach the 5,000 subs and you won't miss the next video when you click the notification bell. Thank you. I mean, I know they can be used as planters and I'd keep them, in, if I had a yard for these, I'd use them. But generally speaking, These are, you know, upcycled. Well, I guess that one has, they have like notches in it. Some craftsmanship went into it. So how the hell did they do those? What the hell? What the f Those are totally solid at the bottom. How were these boxes of soil moved? A forklift can't reach under them whatever it's called. <laughs> Kelly wants to take some samples of the soil. Let's do it. Huh. Interesting. Definitely a dark, you know, it's drier on the top, so it looks different. All right, soil sample number three is at uh, 2.10 a.m. on June 8th, West Coast time, 2.10 a.m., June 8th. The porta potty was delivered around May 5th and is most likely intended for the construction workers. At the same time, Wendell showed up and caused problems. Was he another distraction? Was he supposed to drive the protesters away?
Aja and MD Media have seen the large quantity of pre-mix rock and sand mix. The bags are stacked on pallets and wrapped in plastic. Aja was just looking for Detective Ventura, who escaped during their last conversation and hid here. Look at him. Just sitting there, just sitting in his car. Emergency, huh? Emergency, huh? Here comes another delivery of 18 pallets of premix. This is for their underground tunnel. More frickin' rocks. <laughs> Matthew MTK was also there shortly before he was arrested and read what was written on the bags. Presumably, the reason for the delivery was DOA's intervention because he and Henry prevented a concrete mixer from carrying out his delivery. We'll get to that later. See, they're all over there just in one place. They have no idea what's going on. What is this? 1,000 pound, 1,000 pound pre-mix rock and sand mix. Scientology security arrives immediately. It is the first time for me that I have seen a female Scientology security guard. She's on the radio, calling for backup. We got a guy, we got a squirrel in the road. Oh, guess what, I'm on private property now. I'm on private property. Go cry about it to somebody else. Further planter boxes are supplied. They already have a large amount in the yard. This was filmed two days earlier. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. There are about 40 pallets of premix. Like there's nine on the truck on both sides, so there's 18 on that. Hi there, how are you? You guys are ridiculous. You seen Ben Francis or um, Mike or Emily Jones, Ben, Bob Ferris, Phil Anderson, their parents miss and love them. You're loved. It's not too late to leave Scientology, young lady. We're here for you. Kids cannot consent. Children should not be in Scientology. Another delivery looks like planter boxes or something. They're gonna line this whole street with planter boxes and gravel. Ugly. More bags of premix were found yesterday. Here are another 40 bags. So about 80 bags of premix have been seen. Henry did some research and found out that the order for such a large quantity has to be planned at least four weeks in advance. Henry is an engineer and has experience with this type of project. And he estimates that on the lower end, this project will cost at least $100,000. That's a lot of money for a renovation. If it is a renovation. Oh, oh yeah, this no. is, this is. I don't have chicken. It's the end of the world, chat. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. We're going to see something big soon. I have YouTube, YouTube studio. I have a YouTube studio. Um, We're going to see some big change pretty soon. Huh? We're gonna see something big pretty soon, this. I'm gonna see something big pretty soon. What the <laughs> fuck are you saying? What are you talking about? Related to this, related oh. to all the... The previously delivered planter boxes were inspected. Why are so many planter boxes needed? This is the day it all began. This is the morning Scotty stopped the concrete from being pumped into the building. 
He then connected the dots and came up with the theory that Scientology was building another tunnel. Very early in the morning, industrial equipment was delivered. This is a pump with which liquid concrete can be pumped from the concrete mixer to the desired location. At first, Henry thought it was working on the road. But when he asked questions and no one would give him an answer, the whole thing became dubious. Because work that causes noise and also obstructs traffic must be approved and announced to the municipality in advance. And the construction workers apparently behaved suspiciously and told different people different things. So why are the construction workers making a secret of this? Why didn't they just say what their job was? Here comes the concrete mixer, and it wants to be parked right in front of the former hotel. If you need a concrete mixer, then a large area is being poured. This suggests that there is no work in the parking garage, but in the residential building. What is being built in this building? Scotty wants to see the permit and is blocking the work with the tents. The liquid concrete only has a limited time in which it has to be processed. If the time is exceeded, it can no longer be used. That is exactly what is happening this morning. The interesting thing about all this is that Scientology has no permit. No matter what they build, Scientology doesn't have a permit for it. The construction worker goes straight down into the apartment building with a hose, which is probably used to distribute the liquid concrete. On the LA City DBS, I found the following entries for the addresses, Fountain 4820, the parking garage, and 4816, the apartment building. There are entries for construction in progress and construction done, and both are under investigation since this morning. What does that mean? It sounds to me as if there was no permit. But let the expert explain the whole thing. Yeah, all right, so for anybody that's new, I'll explain it again. Thank you, Becky. All right, listen, long story short, guy shows up with the white ram dually that you cannot clearly see because it's hidden behind this giant mixer, a, is carrying a large pump. Typically, that large pump is used for some sort of water main or it's used for some sort of demolition or some other potential mixing usually on a smaller scale, hence that little bucket it's got attached to it. Now, the one thing is, I asked the gentleman what the work is going to be, if it's going to be a destroy and pour, or just a pour. What's, what's the job, right? This is a very simple question. It really is. It's a very, very simple question. Told me we're doing some work at the sidewalk, and I have to wait for the general contractor. Now, that doesn't make any fucking sense to me because if he's the guy doing the work, that, that just logically does not compute that he does not know what the fuck the work is gonna entail. And so there's already mixed answers of sidewalk demo, a uh, foundation pour. It's really simple. So, regardless if I asked it, or if DOA asked it, or if my left fucking nutsack asks it, you should be able to explain what exactly it is that you're doing and why, number one, you're blocking off the entire crosswalk uh, to do so. The guy got super combative. It's the deception. It's just the constant back and forth of bullshit. Do you have the project manager's number? So the driver I talked to actually gave me a contact info for the project manager. How is it that he knows more about who that is? That's between them and the contractor, the contractor. No, I'm not asking about the contractor. I'm asking about the project manager. I'm not asking anything about permits. I'm asking specifically to simply clarify why there is a closure. I don't need to take your word on it. There are project managers that do this type of work, this clarification, this communication back and forth. It's very simple. It, it truly, genuinely, in my past experience, it takes about 10 to 20 seconds to get that clarity. Not at this point. You guys just grasp, grasp, grasp. It's, it's, you see, that, and that's what I honestly despise about your disingenuity right here because see, I'm not even grasp. asking you about you. It's me that you guys that's, I, that's fine, I can respect that. I'm simply right now asking you, the project manager, their contact info, it's not. 
It's not when it involves public works. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter if my left nutsack hangs lower than my right. It's a dumb analogy. It is. Buddy, I work as an engineer. I'm fucking telling you what you're saying is literal bullshit. And that's why I'm fucking pissed off at you. You're... Wow, that's fucking terrible. They don't even allow them to fucking back up. Look at all that space. Look at all that fucking space. They could back up right there. They don't want them to fucking even do that. Wow. So he's probably just gonna take it from there, yeah. When the concrete mixer moves, DOA naturally has to move its tent too. The worker doesn't like this at all because the time for the concrete is running out. My shit! Stop touching my shit! What was that guy? I mean, come on, man. You're committing battery. That's literal battery. You, you don't want this. You're committing battery. You're committing battery. One lands you in prison, the other lands you some verbal annoyance. You don't want this guy. You Trust me, you don't want to go down there. That's the road and overturn. Ah! Yeah, I heard. No. Get out of there. Trust me, you don't want to go in there, baby. The LAPD is called, and Sergeant Gomez arrives. We already know Gomez from DOA's swatting and Danny's wrongful arrest. This arrest was used to get Danny a restraining order so he can't come to Big Blue. Why is Sergeant Gomez always in on the shady interactions? Do these officers really think they would understand the documents and the plans? I can only shake my head. Yeah, of course they're confused. I'm confused by those drawings, my friend. I went to school for over five years for that. I'm still confused to this day. It's totally unfair to expect you guys to take a once over and understand it all. <clears throat> I mean, seriously. There's even licensed professional engineers who, you know, have the ability to work on public buildings of any sorts, a PE license, and they're still confused. Like, it's, it's not easy. The LAPD, the workers, and the concrete mixer all have to leave without accomplishing anything, and the action is over for the morning. Leah has discovered wooden planks and bricks. Why are they stored outside right by the entrance? I don't know why they wrapped that. Danny had also seen the pallet of bricks the night before. They weren't packed yet. Are we out? Are we out? No, yeah, we're allowed to walk here all day, but we just wanted to prove a point earlier. Now we're able to walk on the streets that we pay, so. Another pallet with bricks that is packed. With that either, so it's like, I have no option. <laughs> On May 21st, Matt filmed workers bringing material into the parking garage. What are you guys building? A room? A wall? Oh. Now the workers are told not to talk to us. I need some work done. Can I get a business card? Hold on, Lord. Please. You know they did full background checks on you guys before they had you work there. They take your fingerprints and make sure you not have a criminal record before you do any work there. They do a full extensive background check on all the employees. Anybody that goes in that building. <laughs> there were other deliveries of material. I haven't found the original footage, though. 
This is to form some wood coming in for the tunnel. Put all the pieces, we're putting all the pieces together here, guys. Does Wendell know these men? What is the wood needed for? <laughs> On May 11th, Scotty was visited by David Sanchez and the grill was intentionally knocked over. Another attempt to drive away the protesters. What else happened that day? Oh, well, yeah, no, 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 no. On May 1st, DOA was disturbed by jackhammer noise. Construction workers are making a hole in the middle of the street. The construction workers parked at the Scientology garage, and we know how petty Scientology is to unwanted people. Was this on behalf of Scientology? There should be documentation with the city for this construction work. I found film footage from May 4 so, that shows uh, the result of the work. I see a lid in the street, but what were the construction workers working on? Was it for the guys. city? Yeah, All right, so uh, let's see if I can be... Uh, sweet. Thank you. I put my son is. Um, yeah, we we'll go sit on the wall. Yes. Years ago, there was children that put these bricks on the road. Children, little children, put those bricks on the road. Liz, Liz Ferris, put these bricks on the road. On March 18th, bricks were replaced on L. Ron Hubbard Way. But why? None of the protesters talked about the fact that the bricks were broken. Or did nobody notice because it had just happened? On March the 16th, L. Ron Hubbard Way was partially closed in the middle of the road. What about the bricks in the middle of the road?
so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. Chasing stars and holding view. There was also heavy equipment right in front of the Scientology building. One is a forklift, but what is the other piece of equipment? I think we can assume that this equipment belongs to Scientology. Why was the middle part of the road partially blocked? The stones in the middle of the road look different, and this can be seen on videos. On January 26th, a van with the inscription ICC Independent Concrete Cutting came to the Scientology parking garage. I think the sign says what the job is. Parts are to be cut out of the concrete. Which part and in which building? Be aware of it. It's good to know. It's a bad look. Unfortunately, DOA was distracted by a rowdy Scientologist. He had to rush to Lara's defense because the Scientologist assaulted Lara. Was this a planned distraction or just a coincidence? Get, get the fuck out of her face! Don't touch me. Get do the fuck again. out of her face! You. you get out of her okay. face! That's you don't fucking touch her, dude! Well, what the fuck are you thinking, camera. huh? What are you thinking, you okay. psychopath? And this is me. Yeah. You're a fucking yeah. psychopath! Look at you. How Get dare you? In. How dare you? Psycho. What happened? What do you think? Is there any truth to the theory that Scientology is building another underground passageway to the AOAL? No matter what they build, they don't seem to have a permit for it. We need to keep our eyes open and not be distracted.